So here we go. It is 9.31 on March 5th. Oil Daily continued bullish rally yesterday despite extremely bearish news. Remember what happened on oil yesterday, correct? We were here and I said you must be out of your mind to short oil. The worst idea ever. I said the short on oil played out from here and started at oil pit open. And this is precisely the reminder why I love oil news to pieces. Because each and every time we trade against the news. What has happened after the close of the trading room? Just to remind you, every single trade I took yesterday on oil was bullish. Five bullish trades. What did oil do after the close of the trading room? Picked up the steam. What did we discuss? If oil breaking through 51, major trend is bullish. Buyers picked up the steam and finally blasted through decision point one. Again, reminder, oil struggled to break through the end of the minor trend for two days. Look at this. March 3rd, war zone had started and continued for more than 24 hours. Finally, towards the close, oil succeeded and reminded you a door reversal zone. Don't ever buy into it. Sellers continued with bearish corrections and finally gave you marvelous shorting opportunity. Right now is not the time to short oil. Oil is in counter trend bullish structure dancing between the levels. Exercise extreme caution with oil. It is very, very crucial formations right here, right now. What would we like to do? We would like for oil to push as high as possible and short from as high as possible. This is very dangerous level, the end of the minor trend. Remember what happened on oil March 3rd and 4th, war zone. Price respected this area for two days. Is oil going to do the same thing? A very crucial end of minor trend. No shorts into this level. Shorts outside of here or shorts from here. Again, all in front of you. Alpha wave trader method in a nutshell. Respect in the door, the end of the minor trend. Don't ever short over extended trend. Don't care about the news. Fundamentals are meaningless unless supported by the price. And don't ever buy into reversal zone. Look to short from and know what separates corrections from reversal. And here is S&P. Remember what we've done on S&P? We've been buying from here. We took a lovely trade for 9 points. As a matter of fact, we took lovely 5 trades on S&P yesterday. All of them are bullish. We knew not to short anywhere near these levels. We allowed price to settle down and that's where we bought from. And where is S&P this morning? Oh, the magic of the puzzle. It never gets old. Remember where oil struggled for two days? The end of the minor trend. Sellers are here and they're here with vengeance. What do we know about S&P? We know it's extremely late to short S&P. Short S&P already played out from 2103 area. We ain't shorting S&P right now. We may be buying S&P very, very soon. We know that bearish trend will start giving us bullish push to the upside. And very soon we're going to find out if S&P sellers are in charge or if buyers will step in with vengeance and do exactly what oil had done yesterday. And again, this is a picture perfect reminder. Don't ever disrespect minor trend at door and worship decision point one. Because we always have minor trend. 
we not always have measure. Again, picture perfect reminder. Formula remains the same. Oil done this for two days, S&P doing it now. And again, if S&P will break through this level, it will head to 2107 and 2113 level. But one step at a time, let's see who is in charge. If sellers will continue with vengeance or buyers will defend this level. And we have a lovely long opportunity very soon. Again, end of minor trend on hourly where a seller stepped in from. And end of minor trend on daily where we've been buying from in February each and every time and where we bought from yesterday. Is S&P going to revisit that level again? Oh, we'd love to buy again and again and again from that level. All spelled out by the price since months ago. So, decision point one on oil to the downside, not to be ignored. Let's buckle up. Let's see if buyers will pick up this team at this area. Already had plenty of long opportunities on oil.